Hey, what's up guys? This is ZK, and today I'll be finishing up my tutorial series on how to create a Nazi Zombies map for the PC from scratch. So this, will, this video will show you how to compile your map, patch, and mod, and uh, we'll run the game using the game, I guess. Pfft. That didn't make any sense, but whatever. We'll run your map on the game. So, uh... Um, first thing is, first of all, you have to have your map done, obviously, so let me just bring it up really quick on Radiant. Probably should have had this loaded up before I started the video, but I wasn't thinking, because I don't usually th do too much thinking in my head. Alright, so I'll bring up Nazi Zombie YouTube, make sure we have all the stuff in it like we were supposed to. Yep, we got lights, reflection probes, spawn points, all that good stuff. We're good to go. And uh, one thing I did add, guys, is I added a mystery box spawn point back here just so that you could uh, see it spawn and stuff. So there's the original, and back there is the main one. So that's what the map is going to look like. And first of all, you want to compile your map. Now, click on your map, Nazi Zombie, whatever the name of it is. And all the stuff should be deselected. Uh, you'll want to select Compile BSP, Compile Lights, Connect Pads, Compile Reflections, Build Fast Files, and BSP Info. Alright, and Mod Specific Map, check that, and Nazi Zombie, whatever your name is. Alright, so that's what you want to do, and then click Compile. So now it will start compiling your map. And uh, hopefully you don't get any errors on this. If you followed the first video in this tutorial series of how to install the mod tools, you shouldn't get any errors. Um, so we'll just wait for it to load here while it's I'm making the path nodes. The path nodes are those purple boxes, which I explained before, that tell the zombies where they're allowed to go. There, it just finished compiling all that. Now it's going to compile all of the lights in the map. It's making the reflections and stuff. And pretty soon it'll show us all the dimensions of the reflection probe. There you go. Reflection probe 1, all four sides up and down. So there, it just finished that going very fast since it's a small map and I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. The more RAM you have, the faster that this process will take. And uh, ignore these, these errors, sound alias, weapons, .csv, duplicate alias, RPG, impact, boom. Ignore that. That doesn't matter. Even though it is a duplicate alias, even when I shoot an RPG, it still blows up and you still get the sound, so I don't know what the error is all about. You can just ignore that. And it's almost done. Wait for it to say priming water, and then it will be good. There we go. Now you can see here it says error. Access to path C users Levi app data local Activision COD World at War mods user maps images that IWD is denied. Now if you get an error that that uh, that um that, that particular spot in your computer is denying access to this program, um, then we will show you how to do that as soon as I'm done building the mod and the patch. So go to patch, check fast files, mod specific map, your map, and compile. This will take like two seconds. There we go. See, you got the same thing. Error access to this and that, blah, blah, blah. Um, app data, okay? Uh, even though I'm running this program as administrator and everything as administrator, it still doesn't want to put files there. So we will fix that once we finish building the mod. Now check build mod FF file fast files and build IWD files. Make sure you select your mod and then make sure all this stuff is checked. Everything that shows up here should be checked. All right. And uh, then you can hit build mod and this will take like 30 seconds, maybe 10 seconds. I'm going to go with 12 seconds. Wow. I was like six. Okay. Everything is okay. You can see that. So now we are done building the mod. So we can exit out there. Now you want to go to your root folder. Program Files, Activision, Call of Duty, World at War, all right? Now go to Mods, and see your map map name, Nazi Zombie, YouTube is mine, whatever your map name is. You want to copy that folder. Now you only have to do this if you got that error that I explained to you before, where it was denying access to the app data folder. You don't have to do this if, you, if you're if you not getting that error. But uh, go to Users now, and actually let's start here. Okay, start in Computer, Local Disk C, Users, and then whatever your user is. And you'll see here, app data. Okay, if that folder is not appearing, then you need to go to tools, folder options, view, and then tick this, show hidden files, folders, and drives. Okay, so then you should get the app data folder. App data, then click local, Activision, COD World at War, and mods. And you can see there's your folder right there. Now you want to paste in the other folder that you copied. Click yes, and copy. 
and overwrite merge all folders. So there you go. Now we have the new folder there. And the reason why we have to do that is because the game with or the computer was denying launcher the access to that folder so it could write your new files that you were compiling. So we what we did was we just took the mod folder that it did allow it to write in and we just copied it over there. So easy stuff. So now you want to launch your game. And we'll wait for it to load. How many people like loading? Alright, so we're running Call of Duty. Wait for it to load up. Man, it's taking forever. Never takes this long. Alright, go to your mod section and click Nazi Zombie YouTube. You see that? Double click that and it'll close your game and then your game will pop back up here in another couple seconds. Or several seconds. All right, there we go. Now, the next thing you need to do, you don't you only have to do this once. Uh, go over here and click enable console. We want that at yes. We want to enable the console, all right? So now you can go back to the main menu. And you'll notice on your keyboard there's a squiggly line with the accent mark right above the tab key. You want to push that and then it'll activate this little bad boy up here so you can type something. Now, this is how you're going to launch your map every time you come to the game. You run the mod and then Type in MAP, which would be map, then space, Nazi, zombie, underscore, and then whatever your map name is. So my map name is YouTube. So then there you go. And push enter. And see, here's our custom load screen we did on the previous video. And click to start mission, which means it worked. And here we go, guys. This is our custom map that we've been building. Here's the mystery box. I have 500,000 points, and if you want to change that, you can go back to another video that I made. We got an MP40 out of the mystery box. Let's buy the PPSH on the wall, and we'll pack a punch it. Oh, wait, sorry, my bad. Got to turn on the power first. There, we turned on the power. Run the pack a punch machine. Ah, zombies are breaking through the wall. They're going to kill us. Take our PPSH. And there we got a couple zombies over there. We'll kill them. Buy some Juggernog. And rebuild the window. See there, guys? Our map is working perfectly. There's our box that we made. Uh, not going to take that. And see, now we'll buy the door. And it shoots over there just like we did in, uh, when we made the door. And here's our mystery box spawn point, where the mystery box will appear at some point, if I buy enough of them. And zombies will come from there on the next round, probably, because they all spawned in the first room for right now. Okay. Yep, see, there we got a zombie spawning in back here. Now, I want to... Oh, crud, I killed everybody. I want to buy enough mystery boxes so it spawns over there so you guys can see that. Oh, we'll take monkeys. Genius! Exploding monkey! Whatever. Oh, crud. Hit the Windows button by accident there. We're like invincible now. So we got our PPSH. Now I can't play with the keyboard today. Keyboard and mouse, I like that better than a controller on the PC since you don't have aim assist. Uh, okay, let's try to leave a crawler coming up here. What's up, zombie? Okay, let's try to get the mystery box to leave and go to that other spot. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Nothing says I love you more than a shotgun. Come on, spawn over at the other spot. Stupid zombie.
Come on, baby. Spawn away. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so there you go. We get the awesome teddy bear, and the mystery box will fly up into the air, just like it does on the real maps. So you can watch it right here. And see, there it goes. And there it disappeared. So now it will appear over here in just a few seconds. Patong! There you go. Oh, whoops, I have it facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright guys, so there you go. That is how to create a custom zombies map. We are done. Unless you uh, want to add stuff to your map or change it in any way, just open it back up in Radiant and make your changes and then compile it again and come back and play it. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's the end of the video and the tutorial series on how to create a Nazi Zombies map. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helped you create your dream map, because it sure helped me when I first uh, got going. I had to figure all this stuff out basically by myself and just a little bit of help on the, com on the internet. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of work, and I hope this video has just, been, has just helped you simplify it and get it working on your computer. So thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos. I have Call of Duty strategies and discussions and stuff, news about Black Ops 2 if you haven't been keeping up to date on that. And yeah, that's about it. So we'll see you guys on my next video. This is ZK signing off.